Turkey Goes to School by Wendy Silvano, illustrated by Lee Harper. Be sure to like and subscribe for more read alouds. The first day of school was fast approaching. Max and Millie were super excited. And so were the animals on Farmer Jake's farm, especially since the first week's theme was farm days. They were certain they would be invited. Stories, counting, singing, painting, said Turkey. It all sounds so fun. I can't wait to go. Each day, Turkey got his pals to practice their school skills so they'd be ready. They wrote their names, counted corn kernels, read stories, and even tried out recess games. But when the big day came, they were booted off the bus. Critters aren't allowed at school, said Millie. You need to stay at the farm. Gobble, gobble, groaned Turkey. We just have to go to school. We can't miss out on all the fun. Well then, said Horse, let's giddy up and go. When the animals arrived, teachers were talking, children were chasing, parents were taking pictures. It's too bad critters aren't allowed in class, said Sheep. It's total hogwash, grunted Pig. Turkey, why don't we team up to sneak you in and then maybe you can get us in? Gobbledy good idea, said Turkey. I think I know just what to do. No one will notice an extra backpack in the bunch. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like a backpack, almost. Totally foolish, Turkey, said Max. Critters aren't allowed at school. Pack it up and head back to the farm. Gobble, gobble moaned Turkey. I've got to find a way in. Rooster peeked in the window. They're starting story time. A book disguise might just doodle doodle do, he said. Turkey agreed. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like a book, almost. We'll create a little distraction out here while you book it inside, said Sheep. Turkey stayed quiet and still drawing the story. Can we read that one next? Asked the girl, pointing right at Turkey. The teacher looked. That's no book. Turkey, I'm paging the principal. Critters aren't allowed at school. You are bound for the farm. Turkey bolted outside. Cobble, cobble, he howled. I need a better disguise. It's almost recess, said Horse. Maybe it's a good chance to blend in with the group. Score, said Turkey. A ball is sure to get in the game. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like a soccer ball. Almost. The kids came running out to the playground. Horse bucked Turkey up in the air. And Cow headbutted him into the middle of the crowd. Go! Cool jumbo soccer! cried a boy. Turkey was dizzy and dinged. He teetered and tattered right into Millie. I call a foul! cried Millie. Turkeys aren't allowed at school. Roll on home. Gobble, 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 grumbled Turkey. How am I ever going to get inside? Maybe you can make your move as a lunch lady in the cafeteria, said Cal. Brilliant, said Turkey. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like a lunch lady, almost. Pig, 
pilfered a cart filled with food. Turkey pushed it right into the serving line and began to parcel out pizza. Cheese, turkey! hollered the head lunch lady. No one is swallowing that disguise. Critters aren't allowed at school. Out, out, out! Turkey trudged outside. I just don't get it, squawked Rooster. It's farm days. We should be front and center. That's it, cried Turkey. I have the perfect plan. The principal poked her head in the classroom. You have special guest visitors for farm days, she said. Farmer Jake and his animals are going to sing a song with you. Turkey and his pals walked to the front of the classroom. Turkey sang, Farmer Jake, he had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a turkey, E-I-E-I-O, with a gobble gobble here and a gobble gobble there, here a gobble, there a gobble, everywhere a gobble gobble. The children cheered. Can we sing some more? Millie asked. She looked at the teacher hopefully. So did Turkey and his pals. Critters still aren't allowed at school. But I suppose they can be our special farm guests this afternoon. So Turkey and his pals stayed. And it was a farm-tastic first and last day of school. Check out our other read-alouds in the links down below.